Hey, you! Yes, you! Your green screen sucks! But, we can make it better! Wouldn't you like to have some effects on it? Well, that's what I'm here for! Let's go! How's it going guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is The Synchro, and I'm still laughing about the intro. <laughs> How's it going guys? Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is The Synchro, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys three different green screen effects that you can do on your OBS to make it even more And we're going to make it a lot more exciting and we're also going to do it in such a way that you can easily turn them on and off at the click of a button as well. And if you have a stream deck, it'll make that process even easier. Let's go! So the first effect that I'm going to show you guys is something that I like to call the color wave effect. So if you've ever been on my channel, you actually have a redeemable on my channel called Experience Tranquility. And once you redeem that, it causes basically a color wave um, to show up behind me and whatnot, so it basically goes with exact movements that I do. And essentially what this effect is, it's several clones of myself with a color correction on a solid color and a render delay on each one of them. It's incredibly easy to do. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So let's suppose you already have your scenes all ready to go, all prepared, you already got your green screen and everything. This is what you have to do. Lock your green screen so that you don't accidentally move it. Click the plus button, go to source mirror, add a new source mirror, you can name it whatever you want, and make that source mirror linked to your green screen. And then resize it to the exact same size as your green screen. Bring the source mirror to the back, and then what we are going to do is we're going to basically click copy and duplicate it a couple times. Two, three, four, five, as many times as you want, it's personal preference. And we're gonna bring it one behind the other. So you have your green screen, and then you have six or five or how many source mirrors as you want um, under your green screen. Now this is what you're going to do. You're gonna right click the source mirror and go to filters. The first thing you're gonna do is add an effect filter, and you're gonna add a render delay. There we go. <laughs> and you're gonna add that 100 milliseconds to the first render delay. And then what you're going to do again is you're going to click the plus button. You're going to go to color correction. Click OK. And then you're going to select a color that you want. Let's go with red. Let's go. Let's start with red. There we go. We got a solid red color. And now you click OK. Then what you're going to do is you're going to right click that. Copy filters. Go to source mirror 2. Paste the filter. Open the filter in source mirror 2. Change that render delay to 100 to 200. And then change the color to something else that you want. Let's go with magenta. And then we're going to go to source mirror 3. Paste. Right click. Filters. Render delay. 300. Color. Whatever other color you want. Let's go with blue. Same with thing. Paste. Filter. Render delay. 400. Color. And we'll go with cyan slash greenish. Paste filters, right click filters, render delay, 500, color correction, and whatever color we want. So now we basically have all those colors. We have the main green screen, which is this, and then we have all those colors with a render delay for each. So now whenever you move, you have a wave of colors following you every single time. That's the color wave. It's a very, very awesome little effect. I absolutely love it. Give it a try for yourselves if you have a green screen. It's incredibly simple to do. The next effect that I'm going to be teaching you guys is called the color border effect. And I absolutely love this one as well. Because you can do a simple border kind of like this where it's just a little white border around your entire green screen. Or you can do something a little more complex and actually go above and beyond with a bunch of colors and whatnot. This is, as I mentioned, another effect that's incredibly easy to do, so let's get right onto it. This is basically just using source mirrors yet again. So you got your scene, and you got your green screen source. All you gotta go and do is add a source mirror. Make a source mirror, and link it to the green screen. And then just resize it accordingly. So let me just put it back in shape. There you go. Bring the source mirror to the back, right click it, copy, and duplicate it as many times as you want. Let's go with four times. So, let's do something simple first. Let's just do a white border around myself. So this is basically what you're gonna do, is you're gonna right click the source mirror, filter, add a new filter, color correction, click OK, select color, select white, OK, 
and now you have a white border. However, it's not showing up very well. Un unlock the uh, source mirror and just increase the size just a little bit and place it whatever you want. And there you go. So this is a little white border, simple and whatnot. I like it. But let's go a step further and actually add a bunch more colors to it. So let's go back to the source mirror, filters, and we're going to change this color to something like blue. And then we're going to go to the other source mirror, filter, <clears throat> add a color correction. Okay. Select color and select another color. And that's the same thing that we're going to do with the others. However, we're just going to right click, copy filter and paste it on the others as well. Just to speed up the process just a little bit. Right click, filter and then just change the color. And same thing with the very last one. Filter, color correction, change the color. And there we go. Now make sure the very first one is locked. Unlock the second one. Increase the size just a little bit. And then place it accordingly. This is personal preference on what, how much larger you want the others. You don't have to make it the same size as me. So there you go. <clears throat> and same with this one. Unlock it. Increase the size. As large as we want. And then place it in the back. <clears throat> and same thing with the last one. Unlock it. Change the size to whatever size we want. Place it in the back. And there we go. Now we got a colorful border as well that you can actually rock on on your green screen and whatnot. And there's so many cool things that you can do with this as well. You can you don't have to have it like this. You could literally have it so like there's almost like a trail behind you of borders. <clears throat> Just get creative with it. And honestly, I think you guys find something that you will really enjoy having on your stream. This last one is a very, very simple one, but one of my favorites. It's a simple drop shadow that you can add to your green screen, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. It adds so much depth to wherever you have your green screen on top of and whatnot, and it's incredibly, incredibly simple to do. So let's not keep you guys waiting, let's get this party started. So, what you have to do, click the plus, source mirror, create a new source mirror, link it to your green screen, resize it accordingly, you will actually be resizing this afterwards though, so just keep that in mind. Lock it up, bring it to the back. Now what I would recommend you guys to do is add a solid color source to the back just so you can actually see the drop shadow being added. And then you can remove this after. So lock that up, right click on your source mirror, go to filter, click the plus, and add a blur on it. Now you can choose which blur you want. I prefer using Gaussian Blur because I like how Gaussian Blur looks, but you can also use uh, Box Blur if you'd like. There we go. Increase the size of the blur just a little bit. Go over on the plus. Add a color correction to it. Click OK. Select color. Make it pitch black. And lower the opacity just a little bit. Right? Now this is what you're going to do. You can already see that there's a little bit of a shadow behind it. You're going to unlock this. You're going to grab the top right corner here. And you're going to bring it down just a little bit. And you're going to nudge this to the side very slightly. And there you have it. That's literally it. You now have a little drop shadow added to your screen. And you can fiddle around with this to your personal preference. Honestly, it doesn't have to be the exact same size as how I have it. You can change the blur as much as you want. You can even make it less blurry. But that's basically it. You now have a drop shadow on your green screen. And now depending on whatever you have behind your green screen, you're going to have this really nice and elegant look for your gameplay or whatever else you're doing. So now guys, this last part, I'm actually going to quickly teach you all how to turn the effect off, especially if you have something like this. I guarantee you won't want to have this running for your screen the whole day. So this is how you turn it off very, very easily. All you got to do is go to where your effects are, select all the source mirrors, right click, group selected item, name whatever you want. Let's go with effect. And then simply, whenever you want to turn the effect off, you just close that group. Just click the eye on that group. And there you go. Effect off. Something exciting happens. Uh, you get a raid or whatever. You click the button. There's the effect again. Raid's over. Turn it off. There you go. Go about your day. So that's it, guys. Those were three awesome and very simple effects that you can do in your OBS as well if you have a green screen. Keeping in mind, guys, that this isn't limited to just green screens as well. If you have a service like NVIDIA Broadcast where it can remove you from your background, all of these effects will work absolutely phenomenally on them as well. So give it a try yourself and let me know how it goes. Guys, 
Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so very, very much for hanging out with us. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions or need any help with anything, feel free to come hang out with us on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time on Twitch. And I stream at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time on Saturdays on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Catch you later. If you like this video and want to learn more, make sure you like and subscribe. My next tutorial will be teaching you how to use your green screen to make your head pop out of a toilet.